Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. And today I wanted to dive into the Xperia Play, the Sony Ericsson smartphone. And I love this device so much and I just haven't really done a lot of content on it. And I wanted to start doing more of it here on the channel and just have some fun. And in this video, we'll be talking about the Super Nintendo emulator for the Xperia Play. Now, if you haven't already jailbroken your device, I do have a full tutorial on how to do that. The link will be in the description down below. So it's important that you do have the Solid Explorer application installed. And also you will have to know your Android version. I haven't updated mine. I just kept it stock or whatever Android it initially had so it's 2.3.3 uh, no big deal for me as long as I can just run my favorite games and emulation and stuff like that so uh, I currently have a couple of emulators on here which is the PS1 the PSXE I just installed the, uh, the PPSSPP which is running great but today in this video we'll be focusing on the Super Nintendo emulator now the latest and greatest uh, release for the Super Nintendo emulator on Android uh, for Android 2.3, 2.3.1 and 2.3.2 is version 1.5.73 released back in May 23rd of this year of 2023 and typically you should be able to run the latest update on your Xperia Play and you shouldn't see any issues but if you do try to look for an older version and see if that will work for your Xperia Play and I'll have a link to that uh, site where you can have all these different uh, versions or older versions of this emulator for your Xperia Play. Now the one that I have is the 1.5.54 version and it's working just great for me. Now as far as installation goes, just connect your Xperia Play to your PC and copy over that APK file or whatever version that you have for that SNES emulator APK file onto your root of your micro SD card. And you want to open up your Solid Explorer and it should automatically go to your SD card if you have it set up that way. And just find the APK file. And I'll go to it here and it should have a thumbnail looking just like that and select that APK and we're going to cancel and actually let's just go back and you will see a new screen like this you want to install this application and hit the install now make sure under your settings through applications you do have the unknown sources selected if this is not selected you may have issues installing this third-party application on your phone now the version that I have installed let's take a look here is the version 1.5.54 and this is the non plus version the SNES 9x EX non plus version this one works really good. I didn't have any issues while running some of my favorite games on here. And I'll show you how many games I have installed on my SD card. So let's go to Super Nintendo ROMs, go to properties, and it should populate all of the files in that folder. We're looking at 855 files at 1.16 gigabytes. So that doesn't take too much space and I have a 128 gigabyte card installed on this device. So let's take a look at this emulator and see what we got going on. And I was just playing this crazy game called Boogerman or something like that. Or I guess I was playing F-Zero. And I like this application a lot because it does know exactly where you left off when it comes to the, la the latest game that you played. Alright, so here we are at the menu and you can load your games. And what you'll have to do is select your folder that contains all of your ROMs. By pressing the right and L trigger buttons, 
you can scan through your folder pretty quickly. So yeah, you can hold it and scan through all of your games fairly quickly. And it shows the recent games that you played. And it does have an auto save. So anytime you exit the game, it can auto save and you can start and pick up where you left off. Pressing this button at the bottom will take you to the system actions and access cheats, reset the game, load a state, save a state. You can close the game and load up another one. Pressing circle will take you back to recent games. Pressing it again will take you to the main settings. And what I like about this is that you can actually benchmark a game. I'm not sure why it's not giving me the option to benchmark uh, Burger Man. But most games are going to be running over 60 frames, which is very cool. Now, if you're having frame issues, go under option, go to video. And what you want to do is select the frame right here and go to detect screens rate and set and now that's set up along with this one detect screen rate and set and it should set up to where it will be working efficiently for the game that you're currently playing and you'll be good to go so yeah the Super Nintendo emulator works pretty good on the Xperia Play and I've had really little issues with it only that uh, my battery does die pretty quickly so there you have it guys just a quick video talking about the Super Nintendo emulator on the Xperia Play let me know in the comment section what you think and I'll catch you guys on the next one take care